Right then, now that you have memorized your major system, uh, you are ready to convert some numbers, some significantly large numbers into words and memorize them and show off your skills to your friends, family and probably to yourself also because that shocked me in f at first when I memorized a 16 digit number, right? Alright, but before we actually start converting numbers, I would like to give you a short test so that you know that you have memorized the major system correctly. If you ha if you fail in this test, that is if you don't remember the numbers pretty well, then I advise you to to re to revisit my video and learn about the major system and memorize it. Uh, so let us let us begin. Let me tell me what is number nine associated with? The number nine is associated with pause and think or just tell me I heard you it's P or B right the invert invert the invert thing it has essentially the same same strokes what is the number one associated with you guessed it perfect that's D or T and in the process I'm also exercising my brain what is the number three associated with 3 is associated with M, right? And the last one for today. What is the number 5 associated with? The number 5 is associated with L. You remember that thing? If we made this, uh, let me make this pretty quickly. This L right here, right then. If you have got all these correctly, then you are ready for the next next section of the video. Right then, let me let me give you some numbers. Let me give. Let tell me what what can what can we convert? Twenty three. Let us memorize twenty three. Now twenty three to memorize twenty three is not that difficult. But since we are doing the practice of the major system, we'll memorize it using the major system. So what is the phonetic code for two? It's N, right? The double down stroke. And what is the phonetic code for three? It's M. So what can 23 be? It can be, you can add vowels, right? You can add vowels anywhere. You can add Y, that is W, H, and Y anywhere. So number 23 can be said as name. So you ignore the vowels. A and E are vowels. You ignore them. I'm sorry. A and E are right, 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 right. I'm all right. Uh, A and E are vowels. So you can ignore this and you can just take these and you have 23 retained. So that's a really fun way of memorizing. What can be 17? What is 17? Now 1 is associated with T, yes, or D. So write D also. What is 7? Seven? 7 is associated with, let me see, let me see, we made a K, right? We made a special K and the dotted line, right? This was our K. So what is 7 associated with? 7 is associated with the cur sound. There is one more for seven, but I don't need it. I simply see uh, something, something really interesting happening, and I can reframe seven as take. Right? Perfect. Let me give you two more. Let me give a three-digit number this time. Let me give you three fifty-one. What can three fifty-one be converted into? Three fifty-one. What is three associated with? It's M. What is 5 associated with? It's L. What is 1 associated with? It's it's a T or D. So what can we make of it? What can we make of this thing? Um, it can be... Let me think. Let me think of an English word. I actually made some Hindi words out of it, but that's, that's not going to be some use of you. It can be... Mail it. It can be mail it. Yet you can you can make two words also. You can it can be mail it it's because M retains in three. These both are constant. L is constant. By constant I mean vowels. It's L is five and I is is a vowel and T is one. So we have retained our three hundred fifty one. Let me do one more. Let me do uh, after this we'll do some dates in history. That's really interesting to me. Let me do 860, 60, what should I do, which number have I, I haven't taken, have I taken 4, no I have not taken 4, 864, right, what can 864 be converted into, what is 
8. Remember we made a special F, which was like 8, this one. What is 6? It's CH or the SH sound. Or the S or also one more sound, but I don't think I need it. You need not memorize all of those. What is 4? It's R. So what can this be? It can be... It can be... It can be future. It can be future, and you'd argue with me that it's T here, and it would be ones. Let me, let me, let me tell you what I did here. This is associated with, this is associated with eight, and I'll skip that for a moment. This is associated with four. That's pretty clear. I don't think there will be any confusion regarding this. But you, you will argue with me that this is a T right here, and this should be associated with one. And you said me the number is eight hundred sixty-four. But remember what I told you. <coughs> Sorry for that cough. Remember what I told you that six, uh, this, uh, this phonetic code is based on mnemonics, and mnemonics essentially means sound. So you're not spelling it in your mind; you're saying it in your mind. So you're saying future, ch. Remember the ch sound. You don't remember the spelling; you remember the sound, right? That's a key thing in uh, memorizing the major system. You have to remember the sound rather than the rather than the letters itself. So what is Ch associated within this, it's associated with 6, and hence this number becomes 864. I have my history book with me, and I have certain dates, and I'm in the World War II chapter, and most of the dates in this chapter are related, are in the year 1940s. So I, 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 th I thought of devising something, so, so as all are in 1940s, I can actually memorize these three and keep this for common. And uh, according according to the dates of the individual individual events, I can switch the dates right here. Uh, so switch the letter, which will come right here. So I, had, I I thought of making a constant thing right here for this one. So let me tell you what I have actually come up with. Uh, th I so, it's, so t uh, one is associated with what? It's associated with T. What is nine associated with? It's associated with P. What is 4 associated with? It's associated with R. So what I came up with is topper. And no, the 1 is also associated with D. And you could come up with something like diaper. Well, you know, if that makes you laugh, you can use it. And that's probably the, the first thing that will come to your mind in your tests. Right? Diaper. That's not a bad option, right? Alright. So let me take the date. Let me take the date when Hitler committed suicide and it's given as 30th April 30th April where is it? yes here it is 1945 so we have we have the 19194 uh, right here so which is topper so Hitler was a topper or let me write it I don't know diaper I think is that spelling right? I don't know. Even if it's not, you get the point. And what about here? What can five be? What can five be? Five can five is associated with L, and it could be something like low. So it was very Hitler was very low. You can say. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to hurt the sentiments of anyone. I am just. I'm just. Uh, saying it's phonetic code. Please don't feel bad if you worship Hitler. Right then. What is April? <clears throat> April. April is you can't you can't uh, actually derive the derive the letters you can actually do something like this. You can you can take nine from here, you can take four from here. But that would be too much strain on the memory. So that's why we are going to take April as the fourth month. And all of a sudden, this becomes quite easy to understand and quite easy to encode into our very own phonetic system or the major system. What is four? Four is R. And uh, uh, let me let me let me incorporate this R with this thirty right here. So what can thirty be? Uh, three stands for M. Zero stands for S. So it can be S right here. And I can add something like mouse or moose like the chocolate mousse. I can imagine Hitler having a chocolate mousse. So I can write mousse raw diaper low and this is the phonetic code which I actually made and wrote in my book. So it's 
मूज रॉ डायपर आई होप द स्पेलिंग ऑफ डायपर इज राइट लो एंड वॉट यू कैन इमेजिन इज हिटलर वेरिंग अ डायपर एंड ईटिंग रॉ मूज और रॉ माउस and again th- that should make personal sense to you i i mean that you can you can make it anything i i am not insisting you that you use my phonetic code you can use anything you can use your techniques and your words that make sense to you as i told you that i'm i made a first hindi word of this mail it right here but actually i can't uh, say i can i can't tell you the hindi word as most of you won't understand it so i'm so i'm i made a, an english thing right here and you could imagine him like this or you could do something like this so it is something different i'm let me take another date let me take the date uh, let me take the date let me take the date oh thing i'm not getting okay let me take the great economic depression the great economic depression was in 1929 right 1929 so i have turned into turned this into one stands for t this stands for uh, this stands for p this stands two and this is again p or b so what i have made it is into taipan bone and if you don't know taipan is is a species of a snake right it's a snake let me draw it let me think let me see how i can draw the snake and that doesn't look like a snake at any at any possible chance but uh, bear with me that's that's how well i can draw in 5 minutes and that doesn't represent that i am a digital artist <laughs> all right this is a snake and you could imagine the x-ray of this snake having bones right you could imagine it him like this and with this you would never forget the great economic depression of 1929 so you could make make some dollars in between those bones so that you memorize it and memorizing visually is probably the best thing so you know that this is the great economic depression let me abbreviate it let me do one final one and i leave the major system up to you let me do let me do let me see let me see russian revolution russian revolution of 1917 so i have to encode 1917 what is this this is t what is this this is p or b what is this this is t or d and i'll write here also what is this this is k <clears throat> what can i convert this into i can convert this into t is tie this uh, b can become by uh, one can become tie or let me think let me let me think something tie by tie by tie by tech right technology so tie by tech so and if you know that technology was developing in russia after the industrial revolution after the the russian revolution uh, in fact there is a point right here Uh, let me read one answer for you let me read a line from your answer soviet russia had made spectacular progress and became one of the major industrial powers so you could you could imagine that technology in the industries of russia this is the industry of russia and uh, if you open the door you could see that technology let me let me see how i can indicate technology let me see let me see so this is technology for you <laughs> i don't know what does it mean let me let me let me draw a computer so that would be a clear indication of a technology something technology right so hope that makes perfect sense to you and i hope you have understand the major system and i'm really sorry for my artworks i know they were very very interesting thank you for joining me see you 